automatic, man. This shit's automatic. Hmm. Hey man, he said he said it's automatic, man. You gotta be careful what you say out there these days, cause uh, you say you automatic, then somebody's gonna really think you're sensational. Man hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Good morning, out there, 2K land, man. Check this out, man. Money on the floor. Let's get straight to it, man. We ain't got no. Hey, listen, the videos that, that we dropped last time, it was the, it was the, uh, what, what do we have? We had the podcast and we had a jump shot and then we had the patch from Friday, man. Ain't nobody really interact with those, man. We didn't get really no likes, no comments, no nothing, man. So, like, like that's that part of the show uh, is canceled. We just got money on the floor. Let's get straight to it, man. Listen, if y'all don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all hit that like button, like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing to the moon, Alice. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. Love each and every last one of y'all, man. Check this out. Now, listen, me and Nino was getting real toxic on him yesterday. He got a post-scoring three-point shooter, and I'm out here with my guy shit. Bro, let, let me ask y'all this, man, because I want to ask y'all the same thing that Iggy Mo asked y'all, man. Listen, anybody feel delayed ever since the patch drop? And then, so a lot of people saying, you know, thought it was just me. Some courts feel impossible, uh, been delayed all year, stuff like that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Like, um, I know that they say it's easier to shoot right now. Is it easier for y'all to shoot on six nines and up though? That's the thing. Cause I got a six nine and, um, and it could just be that I don't have my hot spots out here and stuff like that. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. It's been a little bit challenging for me to shoot on my six nine. My six seven, I can shoot with my eyes closed with, with, with my with my toes or whatever. But with my six nine, it is a little bit challenging to shoot. And I think it's just because I had to change my jump shot. That's why I dropped that new jump shot last night, man. So uh, if y'all wanna check that out, man, y'all make sure y'all, <laughs> Y'all boys, go check that out. That video is, uh, that, you know, it, it's up there, man. But like I said, that video, he's got legs and he knows how to use them. We only got 500 views on that, but I dropped it like 10, 10 o'clock last night, man. So, you know, it is what it is. But I'm telling y'all, this is like the perfect catch and shoot jump shot. Not gonna lie. Right after this video, we gonna be on stream with it, man. But anyway, check this out, man. Hey, um, we have, we got, we, we just, there seems to be some controversy here in the community, man. And we gonna talk about that in one second, man. But listen, so check this out first. Well, this is what J.A. Bridge for Job Bridge for says, man. He just says this. He says, hey, takeover boost impact was reduced in the recent update. But they're saying that the takeover was reduced, was reduced in a different way. Like it, like it lasts longer, but it takes longer to get. But I'm not going to lie, the effectiveness of the takeover, because I'm missing and take a lot. If y'all missing and take a lot, let me know, man. But he just says, hey, man, players uh, players provide their feedback. Said, I'm 99% sure that Sponge was secretly nerfed. Sponge was definitely touched. And then he says, uh, takeover is slower to get, but lasts uh, way longer. And then he says, uh, have you noticed this? And uh, yeah, and then so we got uh, we got we got Badgy Pluggy, and that's what Badgy Pluggy was saying, man. Say I'm 99 percent sure the spawns were secretly touched. Um it made it harder to level up in the season, uh in, in this season in 2K24. And Chris T says, now I noticed, I noticed me having a crazy stat line with no take. Sponge was definitely touched. And then they say, uh, you know, takeover was touched in general. Uh, you know, that's and that's pretty much what they're saying with that. And boom, like like you say, you, you see in all the stuff right there, takeover meters, all that good stuff. So what, what I feel like, I, I feel like what they're saying might be true, man. Um when me and Nino were playing the game. It was definitely, I had to actually ask him. I was like, yo, Nino, you got on Accelerator, bro? And he's like, I do got on Accelerator. I mean, I got it on, but it's just taking forever to get. It used to take like, what, three or four buckets to get you, uh, to get you joining here? Now it's now it's, it seems like it's taking the, almost the whole game, man. It, it, it is what it is, man. But anyway, up next, we got that boy. And he said, Josh saying, listen, man, hey, listen, if you want to, like, if you need the news and you need some all city big heck and job bridge for they, 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 that's that's where you got to go. You get it before I drop it to you in digestible bites, man. But anyway, says Swante spreading misinformation on how Rise beat Elite. Let's just get right into it. Bye bye. If, if the Twitter video loads up, bro, why do Twitter videos do this, man? Let me reload it. Let me refresh. We're going to refresh the page and do it, bro. I don't get why Twitter videos do this stuff, but hey. This is the problem is. with NBA 2K. There's no transparency. The math just doesn't add up. Y'all got it, 2K. I know the Rise affiliation happy, but they know it makes sense, right? And then look at the numbers. Mm. Come on, man. 11 hour difference. Rise mm. went up this much. Doesn't seem possible. Now look at this. So 11 hours, they were up 4%, right? 
Right. And then it did this. Zero seconds, they get up 1%. This comeback out of nowhere. I'm not sure where these guys got their information, yeah, but Swante tough. is wrong and so are they. At 455, 1118 rises 4.9%. And then 1124, 1038 rises 51.2%. And then 11.25 at 6.01 rises at 52%. And then at 11, on 11.26 at 7.03 a.m. rises only down by 0.6. And then rises only down by 0 0.4, 0 0.2, sorry, 11.26, 11 o'clock. And then rises only down by 0.1 at 4 o'clock on 11.26, so a couple hours later. And then... We're tied. Rising and Elite are tied. 11.26, 5.54 p.m. Like an hour or two and later. The boys come raging back. And then rises up at almost 6 o'clock, 11.26. So it was a couple days. It wasn't 11 or 12 hours. It was like three four days. It was the whole event. The whole Poseidon event. Rise went from down 4% to up by 0.1%. So it's not, it's not really that hard to comprehend and understand. But it's not 11 hours. And that's this what he says, man. He's saying this it's not 11, hours. It 11 hours. It wasn't 11 hours. It was the whole event that happened. Like, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Do y'all think that it was rigged, that it was just like, like uh, that that happened like that or what? Now, that's what he says. Now, my boy, uh, uh, my <laughs> hey, uh, God did. This is uh, Sin, a.k.a. Sin Raheem said. He says, population population of affiliation can backfire if you were a part of a community where uh when it was in when it was sunset park old town and rivet city you would know why rivet uh rivet city won overpopulated means that means yes people are winning but also a lot of elites losing as well and he's right about that man because everybody was uh in sunset but rivet would always win and it's not because rivet had better players or anything like that i was part of the rivet city rough riders but i'm just saying like i don't i don't know man but he's absolutely right about that the pop overpopulation can can uh backfire or whatever and then tj says that 11 hours got reset twice before it went to uh 50 52.6 to 52.7 not gonna lie because they made the event a little longer hey i ain't gonna lie to y'all about that man hey that might have happened to me bro i don't really know because i didn't really play that joint man i went in there a little bit and um i looked at it and and like i, I wasn't having fun so we didn't really play it like that just because you know people came in there and they were a lot of people were sensational they were just doing they, they were just, they were doing what they what it took to win and i'm not gonna get mad at nobody because that's what they felt like they needed to do to win so hey hey let them let them do their thing do your thing shouty do your thing. I ain't gonna get mad at you. It is what it is. But anyway, hey, up next, hey man, it seems like we got another zinner in the in somebody else's in sensational in the community, man. Hey, job put this up there. He said it might be time for Flash 2K to show the PC setup mid game and do a and do a PC check just because he blocked me. And what they what they're referring to is you know it was uh, that boy Young Precise. Hey man, he was just talking about uh he's talking about this right here, bro. He's talking about, he's saying that Flash has a 78 three ball, averages 20 points on 88% shooting. Uh, what do you mean when you said this right here? And this is what he said. Keep shooting that, man. This bitch is automatic, man. This shit's automatic. Hmm. Hey man, he said he said it's automatic, man. You gotta be careful what you say out there these days, cause uh, you say you automatic, then somebody's gonna really think you're sensational me i mean i don't know man we've all done that we've all hit the shots and said you know it's automatic i'm automatic or whatever like that. it's automatic burn rubber see my homie in the tracker what's up or like we've all done that man but anyway precise goes on and he just says hey if a man is shooting if a power forward is shooting 90 percent like actually in 10 straight games in pro-am league matchup and avoids uh, and avoids the uh the slowdowns and the speed ups the same open corner three is he using the Zen? And some people say, well, it's, e it's so easy to shoot now. And he said he was shooting 90% before the patch and purposely avoid speed up and slowdowns. Uh, he, his intro says 84.5%. He's just the best. And then he came on back to say, man, like he said, he said he was shooting 90% uh, before the patch and purposely avoid speed up and slowdowns and all that good stuff. And then he said, hey, these results are insane. Show me a power four that shoots 80 to 90% in pro-am matchup. It doesn't exist. But I don't know, lag be shooting, but he ain't shooting no 80 to 90% though. But he says, but 
we uh we gotta we're gonna believe we're gonna believe some random can do it and uh not using the zen when they're super easy to get right now come on bro and uh you know that's what he's saying right there man and then so once again he like, like i said he just showed that right there and then um this is what he's saying he says flash over here pump faking four times a game uh he doesn't shoot he doesn't shoot those he really uh he really only shoots time and open shots he's really out here only time and open shots and so this is what we got with this right here um it's just it's just to me like like i ain't got a lot of y'all man i shoot a lot but i don't i don't shoot like i don't know though man like that's an open shot right there i i i think i'm shooting that i ain't gonna lie to you like if i shot the last shot i feel like i'm definitely shooting this man but hey like i said he just pump fakes and then he just passed or whatever like that but to me i'm shooting that i would probably end up being you know contested or something like that but y'all let me know if y'all if y'all are shooting that because to be honest with y'all i don't see a whole heck of a lot of difference between that shot and then this shot right here like the people are still bearing down on you but i guess they're not there yet like this guy's still bearing down on you and uh and and you know you're taking that shot but i guess it's because those guys are closer and you know that that's going to be some type of contest because the, the, the perimeter contest in this game are wild anyway but anyway he went on to show the statistics right here he just says hey 88 percent my fault that was totally that was totally normal in pro am especially when the game when the games are close uh you're just him i wasn't even going to make it public or uh, public other other people did numbers don't lie i guess you're just the best alive and then pretty much what he's showing right here is he's just showing a hey, flash from three last night six to six six to six three for four and then four for five and then so he says hey 19 to 21 that's 90 percent. that's actually a little bit is that a little bit over 90 percent? i don't know but anyway uh yeah that's yeah, a little bit over 90 percent because you miss what you can you can miss two shots and be 90 percent if you took 21 but anyway that was like what's like 91 point or something like that i don't know what it is but he said stream before this is what he streamed before uh the spotlight finals and he came up and he says uh three and a half i mean three for four five for six five for five uh and then that total is 86 percent and then combine the past two streams uh 88 88 percent well dang boy that's a boy that he, he's the guy like quavo would say he is the god dang great that boy shooting 88 percent y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man is 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 he is he uh just that good did he become that good or is he sensational i don't know man y'all gotta let me know man because I, I ain't gonna lie what uh yeah oh it was it was a 91.4 that's 90.4 percent bro i ain't gonna lie my math be mathing but y'all let me know what y'all think man hey listen i don't think it's that serious i don't think people out there cheating like that man maybe they just got the secret sauce they know something that we don't i don't know but i but i will tell you this like it is hard to buy that somebody could go from shooting nothing and hitting nothing to being that guy overnight so i definitely get the sentiment and when you're in an environment like that and you know that this guy ain't been hitting like that and then all of a sudden he come hitting like that man, you know it is what it is man but y'all let me know what i think down in the comment section i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time Hey, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.